Hi guys, this is G1 Devastator back with another show and tell video on the 2008 Transformers Animated Voyager Class Bulkhead. Okay, so here he is. Um, and he is a armored SWAT uh, military type van. Um, he is a flat army green color and he does have uh, lights right here. On either side you'll see that he does have a white star there. Also, there is um, some black accent colors that do run through there, as well as uh, his windshield. Um, he does have a bit of red paint on his grill. Um, and as you can see, he does have uh, six tires, uh, six wheels, and they all do roll. They're not stationary. Um, he is pretty stumpy in uh, short and vehicle mode, um, but his character on the animated series was short and stumpy no matter what mode he was in, which this one does follow suit. So I'm going to go ahead and transform him. Um, he does have a couple of flipping or spring mechanisms when transforming him, and uh, I'll show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull down his back doors. And uh, then I'm going to um, come up here and pull down his uh, lights and side doors. Okay, so then um, you push these back doors down and it's going to spring his arms forward. So I'll show you like that. Okay. Um, also, uh, his head is right here. So when you're moving his chest to, to transform him, it is mine is older, so it's it doesn't really do it that well anymore. But it does. Uh, it's supposed to flip like this whenever you um, move his uh, chest when transforming. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Go ahead and get his feet out here. And uh, these little wheels go underneath like this uh, to make his foot more stable where he can uh, stand. Um, okay. Um, and as you can see, just looking at him, I mean, he is already, you know, almost completely transformed at this point. Uh, so he is a fairly... Uh, easy character. Um, now these back doors here, if you turn around back here and look at this, so you have to pull the doors apart like that. Then you just kind of like do that, lift that up, and the same with that one. Okay, so there he is. Um, yeah, he's pretty short and bulky in his uh, robot mode as well. Um, okay, so with this arm here, you have to straighten it out like this. Um, so normally, you know, it's uh, in a different position, but you want to straighten it out like this. And there is a lever right here. And I'm going to show you he does an uppercut like that little move. Um, that's all that this one does. <laughs> All right, so on his other hand is his other weapon, which is a uh, wrecking ball. So um, you'll fire it with this lever right here. So you want to open it up and then pull and then it pops out. It is attached to this nifty little string so that you don't lose it. Um, when you are reloading it though, you want to make sure you close this lever first uh, to reload your string or the string will get caught and the ball, uh, the wrecking ball will not uh, pop out like it's supposed to. Um, so that is one thing that's a little bit annoying about this toy. So, um, is that, um, now one thing, there's a couple things I want to, uh, tell you guys about this toy. Uh, one thing is I do not like these, uh, side doors, uh, because my toy is obviously older. It's not like new um, it's they are supposed to actually stay bolted um, like this on either side is the way it's supposed to be but once the toy has aged and has been played with I mean it, they just they just like flounce around everywhere which is 
super annoying um, that they don't stay up anymore. Um, what I do also, what I do like about him is that he's more of a like hand-to-hand -hand combat dude. Um, so he doesn't have any like guns or swords or anything that's uh, a loose weapon. Um, all of his weapons are attached to so like his uppercut fist and his wrecking ball. Um, so you don't have to worry about losing any small parts or any weapons, which I really enjoy because that is one thing I do stress out about with um, my figures. Um, also, another thing that I really don't like about this toy is right here, um, there is a, um, a uh, socket right there where you can like press this in to hold his arms there. Uh, same on the other side. Now the only thing is, is when you're, when you go to pose him or like, like that, move his arm out, you know, or anything like that, you, it, it comes unpegged a lot. Um, and that's kind of annoying when you, when you're, um, transforming him or playing with him. Um, also, uh, his legs don't have much articulation. You can bend them, you know, back like this, uh, but his feet are so bulky, um, and his legs are too, it just, I don't know, it, uh, he's not very, uh, poseable, or not poseable friendly, um, his arms, like I said, they, they do move, but then you have to worry about this peg, uh, coming undone, uh, and staying closed like this, uh, but he does have lots of, uh, I mean, elbow room, I mean, they can twist, his arms can twist, I mean, uh, his head can, you know, it has a lot of good movement in there, um, so, I mean, his articulation is okay. It's just that he's so darn bulky and then, you know, they give him these short little squatty legs. It doesn't really, uh, help much. Um, but yeah, other than those couple of things that I am just not really thrilled about with him, I think he, uh, looks good. He looks, uh, cartoon accurate, which is always awesome. All right, guys, um, I just wanted to insert this little clip here. Uh, while I was editing, I did realize that I have um, the animated activators, uh, bulkhead right here also came out in 2008. So, uh, he's a TT tiny version of his Voyager class size right here. Um, this heat rub sticker right here, I actually put this on, um, myself, uh, just for personal preference. It does not come with that. Uh, if you guys were interested, um, in knowing why that's there, uh, he is a one step changer. Um, so that's how you do it. And you just bend his feet up like this. You fold his arms back and then there you go. You have got an activator. He does have ball joints, by the way, guys, right here. Um, his legs are actually a little bit longer on this figure than they are on there. They're not so stumpy compared to the rest of his body size. Um, but yeah, he does have the same face. He's very, you know, detailed like the larger Voyager class one. Um, so yeah, he's uh, pretty cool looking. And I really enjoy uh, having him in my collection. I actually like both of these guys. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick because I think these um, little activators are pretty cool. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please show your support and subscribe. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.